That's right, Joanne. It was a slow go, whether you, go, you were going north or southbound on the lodge by the Davison. Take a look right there. You can see that even the ramps are flooded. Drivers were stuck. We are actually joined right now by one of those drivers. Mike Seema, you were heading from home. What happened? Uh, I was driving. There was three cars ahead of me. They were driving about maybe 20 miles an hour. The one car slowed down. So when I slowed, I'd avoid to hit him. So I pulled on the side. When I pulled on the side, there was more water on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. And then my car shut off. And, and as soon I, as that car shut off, you you tried to get out? I, I tried to get out. At first, I started the, I started start the car, but the car you know, won't start. I turned the ignition on, and then I turned the window down, and I made a phone call to 911. And then they said they're going to have a... Uh, somebody coming over here from Tom Company. But you got a little lucky that somebody else was right by, right? Yes, there was another trucker. He come over. He was. He pulled in front of us also, and he waited for me. And he come and see me. Uh, he he come over. He said, "If I need any hand, I say yes, I need hand." So I went on top from the window on top of the car, and then he got my hand. We you came the car through the, the window. Yes, I come through the window. Well, we are so happy that you got out very safely. Guys, uh, his car wasn't in such luck. He was actually on his way to get an oil change. It looks like he's going to have to do a lot more than that right now. The car has been towed out of the water, but as you can see, there are still vans behind us that need to be pulled off. So for right now, that ramp is still closed, getting on to East Davison from the lodge. For now, reporting.